will study the love with limericks this is a poem class 4 children love with limericks a limerick is a humorous five line poem that tells you a quick story in a rhyme what is a limerick in a a limerick is a humorous five line poem it is a humorous five line poem that tells you a quick story in a rhyme that tells us about a quick story in a rhyme this form of poetry was popularized by the famous english poet edward lear this form of poetry was popularized by a famous english poet edward lear here are four limericks for you to enjoy here are four limericks for you to enjoy one is about an animal one is by edward lear himself one is about a young boy and the last limerick is an amusing tongue twister for you to roll your tongue over a limerick is a humorous five line poem that tells you a quick story in a rhyme बेटा एक लिमरिक क्या होता है लिमरिक एक ह्यूमरस फाइव लाइन पोएम होता है दैट टेल्स आस ए क्विक स्टोरी इन ए राइम दिस फॉर्म ऑफ पोएट्री वाज पॉपुलराइज्ड बाय द फेमस इंग्लिश पोएट और ये इस फॉर्म का पोएट जो है बेटा इसने पॉपुलराइज किया था प्रसिद्ध किया था एक फेमस इंग्लिश पोएट है जिसका नाम था एडवर्ड लेयर हियर आर फोर लिमरिक्स फॉर यू टू एंजॉय वन इज अबाउट एन एनिमल वन इज बाय एडवर्ड लेयर हिमसेल्फ One is about a young boy, and the last limerick is an amusing tongue twister for you to roll your tongue over. Okay, beta. Let's read the poem. There are four types of poem. We'll study the first four. A cheerful old beer at the zoo. A cheerful old beer at the zoo could always find something to do. Could always find. Something to do when it bored him, you know. When it bored him, you know. A cheerful old beer at the zoo. A cheerful old beer at the zoo could always find something to do when it bored him, you know. When it bored him, you know. To walk to and fro. To walk to and fro. He reversed it and walked fro and to. He reversed it and walked fro and to. Any anony must. A cheerful old beer at the zoo could always find something to do when it bored him. You know, to walk to and fro. He reversed it and walked fro and to. Once more, a cheerful old beer at the zoo. Could always find something to do when it is bored. When it bored him, you know, to walk to and fro, he reversed it and walked fro and to. Anonymous. Now the second. There was an old man in a tree whose whiskers were lovely to see. There was an old man in a tree. Whose whiskers were lovely to see, but the birds of the air plucked them perfectly bare to make themselves nest on that tree. There was an old man in a tree. There was an old man in a tree whose whiskers were lovely to see. Whose whiskers were lovely to see, but the birds of the air plucked them perfectly bare to make themselves nest on that tree. Edward Lear. Okay, brother. We have read two paragraphs today. Once more, I am going to read the first paragraph. A cheerful old beer at the zoo could always find something to do. Here it is saying that a cheerful old beer at the zoo. When you are going to the zoo, then you see sometimes a cheerful old beer could always find something to do. Could always find something to do when it bored him. When it bored him, you know. To walk to and fro, to walk to and fro, he reversed it and walked fro and to. Anonymous. Anonymous means the writer of this paragraph is unknown. There was an old man in a tree. There was an old man in a tree whose whiskers were lovely to see. Whose whiskers were lovely to see, but the birds of the air. 
pluck them perfectly bare to make themselves nests on that tree edward lear okay children for today only this much uh, this much please go through this points and beta today i will teach you about some word meaning also beta to and fro means forward and backward reverse means change to opposite whiskers means the hair that grows on a man's face kisi kisi insaan ke chehre pe jo baal nikalte hain usse whisker kehte hain plucked means pulled out or removed perfectly bare means remove or strip completely i think this is clear to all of you okay beta revise go through the video again and again until you are clear till then have a nice day jai